good news. There are no two ways about it. Conservatives did horribly with the female vote in this year's election. So you'd think they'd have learned their lesson and ended the war on women, right? No, not so much. Apparently, they didn't get the memo, at least in Arizona, where the state's Department of Health Services has created a new website aimed at persuading women from having abortions. One Arizona Republican state lawmaker, Representative Kimberly Yee, is on the record saying she believes that the skewed anti-abortion website will convince women not to have abortions. Joining me now to talk more about Arizona's new website and other news on the front lines of the war on women is Sam Bennett, president of the She Should Run Foundation. Sam, welcome back to the program. It's great to see you. A pleasure, Tom. Isn't Arizona's restrictive abortion ban blocked from having effect? How are these state officials getting away with launching this website? Well, the same way that officials across the country have gotten away with, what was that? The 1,100 pieces of anti-woman legislation that we saw introduced in 2011. Um, it's just almost as if they just want to see what they can get away with. In truth, as you said, they missed the memo. They didn't learn the lesson. This election was overwhelmingly a mandate from both sides of the aisle that enough is enough. Look at Claire McCaskill's race, right, where she handily won against Aiken in a state that voted for Romney. Why was that? Well, a heck of a lot of Republican women crossed over and voted for her. Yeah. The statistics show that. So the real issue here, I think, is what we need is far more moderate Republican women, Tom, elected to office. Republicans like Senator Olympia Snow, Susan Collins, and even Lisa Murkowski in Alaska, those kinds of women wouldn't be introducing this kind of nonsensical, although, electorally proven, poor electoral right. strategy. Although although Lisa couldn't get her own Republican Party behind her. But, uh, no, she you, couldn't. Yeah. The, uh, we just have 90 seconds, Sam. I'm sorry. The, the second annual She Should Run National Conversation Election 2012 straight up and unfiltered. You're having this December 4th uh, here in D.C., right. 6 to 8.30 p.m. Right. at the National Cable and Telecommunications Association, 25 Mass right. Avenue in D.C. You can go to sheshouldrun.org for info. What is it? Um, it is uh, sheshouldrun.org, or you can check it out. Check us out at uh, wcfonline.org for the other side of the fence, Women's Campaign Fund. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And so this is, you're, you're basically supporting women to run for politi political office. That's correct. On Women's Campaign Fund side, we support women, Tom, that support reproductive choices and options at all levels of government and both, both sides of the aisle because the only way we're going to protect the environment, women's right to choose is on both sides of the aisle. And, and that both sides of the aisle is really important. Are you getting any traction with Republicans? Absolutely, we are. This very high interest. We're the only national organization actually positioned to help the moderate Republican women whose party, own party, goes against them in the case of Lisa Murkowski or Didi Skosavava here in New York. So what they need is some sort of safe haven, Tom, to rebuild themselves. Because you and I both know, right, the moderate Republican woman used to be the mainstay of the Republican Party, and we need to rebuild that. Very well said. Sam Bennett, thanks so much for being with us tonight. My pleasure, Tom. We'll be right back.